Ingle here. All right, so I believe I am on page 27 of our unit packet for DNA, RNA, protein synthesis, all that good stuff. Um, and if you've watched the other videos, um, you kind of know how to work through this process, but I just wanted to go um, step by step and just knock this out and let you know with some practice how it's going and give you the ability to double check your answers and just have a little additional practice. All right. So what you see in front of us here would be a line of DNA in codons, which are sets of three nitrogen bases that are all paired together. Um, what it's asking you to do is to take that DNA strand and then transcribe it into mRNA. Okay, so using DNA as a template, transcribe it into mRNA and just kind of pair it up. And then after we've done that, we're going to translate it into which amino acids we're going to build. Um, this is very, very easy. I know that sometimes when you're starting out, you get kind of anxious because you're like, ah, but you guys are killing it. I'm telling you, you are doing amazing. So hopefully if you're quarantined or you just need a little extra practice, this will help. Let's get started. All right. So right here we have our first codon. It's TAC. So T goes to A. So T bonds with adenine. Adenine in RNA binds with uracil. Um, cytosine binds with guanine. So here we go. T to A. G to C. A to U. T to A. C to G. G to C. A to U, because we don't have any thymine when we get to RNA, and so that's why we replace it with uracil. Otherwise, if we were going DNA to DNA, we would have thymine or T in place. So um, the most common mistake that happens is when we're first starting to learn about protein synthesis and transcription, um, a lot of times you'll see uh, that we'll forget that RNA does not have thymine, and so when we get in here, we've got all these T's. And when we try to find what amino acid that it translates to, it's like, Mrs. Ingle, there's no, there's no T on my amino acid wheel. And it's like, ding, ding. That's like our little red flag to let us know we need to go back and just fix it. Okay. So it's a way to double check ourselves. All right. So C goes to G, C to G. Then we've got G, 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 U, A, U. U, A, C, U, 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 A, G. Okay, boom, done. I'm going to make that last little G a little bit more clear. Looks like C. All right, so once you've done this, your next step would be to locate either an amino acid wheel, like a circle, or you can also use an amino acid table like the one um, below. Now, in, in my years of teaching, Children or students, adults even, tend to prefer the circular wheel um, as opposed to this. But if you think you might like this, that's okay. You just do first letter on the left and put your finger on it. And then the second letter is on the top row. And then you drag until they meet. And then third letter and you drag until they all sort of like cross over each other. Um, it works just fine if that's how you want to do it. I have one of my color coded wheels over here, so I'm going to use that, but you are welcome to use anything you want to help you. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to put it in pink now. All right, so we have uh, transcribed this. We've done transcription, which is to take DNA and turn it into mRNA. Now we're going to translate it and take mRNA and tell everybody what amino acid that we can build. So we have AUG. So you're going to go to your amino acid wheel or a table. And remember, you shoot for the middle first. So you go for a bullseye. So on mine, you go scroop, A in the center. And then U and G, it is either going to say start or it's going to say met or methanine. And that's how you know that that is your start codon. Um, so you are welcome to write met as an abbreviation or you can write start. And that's how your body knows where to start building that protein. Okay. All right. ACU, we've got ACU. Okay. That looks like that's THR. And so on and so forth. Um, I'll fill these in and let y'all have all of them in just a second. And it'll look like magic. Um, the one thing I want to address is that one at the very end. That's UAG. 
So U A G and it'll say stop. Sometimes it's color coded as red or has a stop sign. And you literally just write stop and just a refresher or reminder that is where your body knows to stop building that protein. It's as long as it's going to be or as large as it's going to be. And we're going to stop it there. All right. So I will fill these in and unpause it. And then you will have a copy of the whole first row and an answer key. Boom. And just like that, magic. Okay. So I filled in all of the amino acids using my amino acid table. Um, you can double check your work. And I've given you a bunch of extra practice to try to get the hang of it. Um, I have the key if you need it. And if you need a little extra help, feel free to email me or stop by my room anytime. And I know you guys are going to ace this no problem. All right. See you soon.